Medusa was the head priestess for the goddess Athena. She was the prettiest woman in all of Greece. When Poseidon arose from the depths of the ocean that he reigned and saw her beauty, he decided to have Medusa as his own. Although she refused his advances, Athena found Poseidon's lust for Medusa as a sign of disrespect for her duties as priestess and made the decision to punish her with a curse to take away her beauty along with her ability to be loved. Any man that was to lust after her or attempt to love her would turn to stone when looking into Medusa's eyes. Her long silken hair turned to snakes and her skin hued green. Medusa did not let this defeat her though. Instead, she used this unjust curse to her advantage, turning the men who had harassed her to stone and collecting their heads for her garden of statues. In this garden rests the head of Poseidon as a symbol of her power. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. The first step to this video is gluing down my eyebrows. Once they have this glossy effect, I feel like for me, the texture is good to stop layering the glue and move to a powder. I like to powder mine down with something dense. A cosmetic sponge would be fine, as well as a powder puff. You just really want to get in there and fill in the ridges that the glue did not to give yourself the smoothest brow texture as possible. And then I like to take a little bit more powder with a fluffier brush and just go over the top and swipe the excess off so that it's not surrounding the brow skin area. For the wax prosthetics that I made out of modeling wax, I am first applying some uh, cosmetic adhesive to the high points of my cheekbones and then putting three in a row and then following that step as well and putting two beneath it. This is to emulate snake skin with some scales put onto the higher points of my face um, because we are doing Medusa and she has that lovely snake updo. I really wanted to bring that down into my face because I did spend a lot of time making that headpiece and I'm very proud of it. So I just wanted to kind of continue that theme throughout the makeup. Once the scales are on, I am going in with yellow face paint on a sponge. Um, I really learned a lot with this video. Um, it was my first time doing a lot of techniques. Um, I decided that the yellow wasn't bright enough for me, so I'm layering white on top of this. But to enter the NYX Professional Makeup Face Awards, I really wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone and try a few new things. For Poseidon, which is not going to be a tutorial in this video, I just wanted to include him in the intro. I actually did blue all over and then did my highlighting and contour colors um, on top of that. If I were to do this over, I would do Medusa the mid-toned green and then highlighted and contoured on top of that. But I'm pretty happy with the results that I got this time and I wanted to include my full process for y'all um, because it definitely was a process. So you'll see me going in with this green all over. I decided that I really did not enjoy the effect that the sponge had in its opacity of the paint applying. So I switched to a brush pretty quickly. So I'm taking what you might call a Granny Smith Apple Green and I am putting this all over my skin. This would kind of be the mid-tone skin that I should have done all over my face, but like I said, I wanted to include my full artistic process. And then my deepest color is going to be a mix of green and blue, so I'm putting those on where I would put my normal contour on my super receded hairline. I hope it doesn't go any farther back. Please stay with me. Um, the hollows of my cheeks, and um, I'm just patting that in. I found that once I applied the paint down a quick padding motion really did the best trick and then it gives it a little bit of texture which I feel like kind of looks like some scales and then a more masculine contour is kind of bringing it down past those lips and toward the chin so I kind of wanted to juxtapose the drag makeup which looks like a normal woman and um, give it a little bit of a deeper skully um, contour look. So now I'm highlighting and contouring my neck by placing yellow in the center and kind of that dark bluey teal color where the kind of base of your ear meets the top of your neck. Um, and now I am setting everything with eyeshadows to intensify the color but also make sure that the paint doesn't run or move anywhere. Um, I'm taking yellow on this flat brush and packing it under my eyes and on the center of my forehead. I'm also going to run it down my nose, do my chin, and the center of my chest. 
quick side note, this video was filmed a week ago and I still have green in my ears. I like cannot get it out of my ears. It is crazy. So this is the Granny Smith Apple Green on a fluffier powder brush instead of a flat brush because I wanted to start blending out that yellow and I feel like blending works really well on a fluffy brush. You can see me kind of tapping and swiping and doing little small circles. I think that this worked really well and would recommend it. So for the deepest color, um, because I did hand paint the snakes, I went with blue and neon green. So I wanted to bring in the blue from the snakes by contouring with blue. So that was kind of a dark teal eyeshadow. For this simple, very small, natural wing, I am taking an ink liner and um, I'm actually going to fill in the inner corner and outer corner first. I kind of call this the sandwich effect. So the darkest colors are like the bread and then the lightest color would be whatever you're filling your sandwich with. And my lightest color, I wanted to be a really bright teal um, or a turquoise, whatever you want to go with. And I am putting down a white cream eyeshadow base first and then pressing it down with my finger on top because fingers make great tools um, because of the natural oils in your fingertips. Taking that same white cream base and putting it under my eyes to give you kind of that faux elongated eyeball shape. Touching up with some powder because my nose is sweating a bunch. And then I put down some glitter glue first on my eyes, on the center of them, and then I am taking a translucent glitter that reflects blue and putting that on the center to make it pop even more and give it that really mirrored metallic -y effect. And then the final step is taking a highlighter that tints blue and putting that on as well so that we just have basically a ton of blue products in the center of our eyes that make them shine like mirrors. Um, so yeah, I did a few more steps. I did a little bit of blue eyeliner underneath and now I am taking yellow glitter and putting it on the top of my scales as well as yellow highlighter. And then I took the same translucent blue glitter that I put on first on my eyes before the highlighter and I also put that on the lower scales of the five so that it reflects both yellow and blue, gives it a little bit of extra dimension and just pop on about five pairs of lashes. Um, I layered and built these lashes off of my face and then glued them on. I went with a black matte lip and then topped it with a highlighter. For this wig, we are going to pull out two pieces from the front because I thought that that looked really cute. And then the back I kind of made into a ponytail and bobby pinned it instead of tied it. And then you'll see me place this headpiece on. I made this with a coat hanger in hot glue. And um, then I hand painted the snakes, as I said, and crystallized the tongues with like little just bedazzled gemstones I had. And um, yeah, so I basically put the ponytail inside of the cage and then pulled pieces through to both hide the string that hold the snakes up and the wires because the snakes would not adhere to hot glue for the life of me and I wanted them to be out. So to help stand them up, I, I tied them with a string and kind of balanced them with that. And um, yeah, as well as Poseidon's look, these shells were made with hot glue from individual shells. Those pieces were made, yeah, 100% by hand and from scratch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, wish me luck and good luck to all of you if you are entering. I cannot wait to see everybody's lovely looks. And until then, have a lovely day, you guys.